हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पार्ट ट्वेंटी ऑफ एडवांस ई कॉम सीरीज इन लार्वल सेवन ओके सो वी विल कंटिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन द कैटेगरी मॉड्यूल ओके कैटेगरी सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू वर्किंग इन लास्ट वीडियो एज वेल एंड इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू एड सम ऑफ द कैटेगरीज विद द हेल्प ऑफ माइग्रेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव क्रिएटेड द कैटेगरीज टेबल एंड देन वी एबल टू एड टू कैटेगरीज इन आवर कैटेगरीज टेबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ सीडिंग ओके so in this video we are going to display these categories in admin panel okay so in the same way like we have displayed the sections and we now we are going to display the categories see we have already uh, provided uh, these category these categories in the left side bar okay so now we need to uh, add the categories here add means categories module okay so uh, here uh, first of all we are going to create the route for our categories module and uh, we will open web.php file and here we will create a uh, route for category and here i'm going to mention it like this categories like we displayed for section and here get route we are going to make uh, get route and here categories and in last video we have also created the category controller so we will use that controller and we will add uh one categories function there okay categories function there in categories controller okay so this route we will just add category controller in category controller categories function okay so now i am going to create this function under category controller going to open and will create this function here public function category controller okay like this okay sorry categories okay so here see here i am going to get all the categories here so simply we can get the categories and with the category model i am going to include this model as well okay i am going to get the categories here i am going to include the category model here use app category like this okay so here i am going to first of all check we'll check that whether the categories our categories two of the categories that we have added in last video will come up here or not okay so i'm going to check here but before that i am going to convert that to json in code in the code uh, so that uh, we can get this is just for testing you no need to require to do this one this one just to debug the code and to get the data is coming fine or not okay so now i'm going to check it out here i'm going to click on this one and you can check see two categories we have added in our last video and both are coming fine okay so the json data for both is coming fine so it is fine so we can just disable this one and can return this one and we can now simply return this one and see here we uh, are going to create the categories uh, categories folder under admin folder and under that we are going to create the categories blade file okay and then we will pass uh, these categories these categories we are going to pass like this okay so now uh, we are going to open our project xampp st docs okay uh, projects uh, sorry not here ecom and uh, resources views admin and here like sections uh, like in the similar way we are going to add the categories folder here and inside this categories folder i am going to create one file uh, see in mac i used to create with command but if you are in windows you can simply create the file by right clicking uh, inside your folder you can simply right click and create notepad file and can rename that file okay that you require to do in windows but here in mac i used to create it like this touch categories.blade.php file okay this is the file that i have created under this one okay so this one we can open this one here category 
dot blade dot php file okay you can see that has been uh, okay we have just open this one okay so now we just need to include the admin design to it okay we already know that how to add the admin design extends and it is under layouts okay then admin layout okay this is the folder and our file is also admin layout okay so it's file admin layout and after that we will section content and end section like this okay so inside this one our script will come and we are going to add in the similar way like we have added there uh, that okay so similar so that all will help us no need to add from template because we are already having it structure design structure we're already having we can simply copy and paste here and and here we can make changes here we will add categories like this categories and here also categories okay here uh, see here here we are going to mention the categories that wa that we want to show here id name of that name we are going to show here url as well okay url and of the status and here see here it will come like adding also we are going to give categories sorry and categories here and here category okay so here and one more we need to add here for your okay so now we can check once that uh, everything we have converted to category and here instead of update section status we will mention here update category status for changing the status of category okay we will uh, change the status to active or inactive in the same way like we have done for section so no need to code once again it is working fine just you need to replace some of the variables okay some of the ids you need to replace okay. see here we will give category id rest all is fine okay here we can check out now refresh the page and you can see the categories must come here see the categories are coming here but category name is not coming we are going to check the names uh, name uh, category name category and score name so we are going to mention here category underscore name okay So you can see the name is also coming category name url and status okay so for status we need to work on in the same way for status we have added update category status class okay and category id we have given in id as well as in category underscore id okay so now we can add this one in our uh, front uh, front script front uh, whatever the script file we are having public js admin js and admin script okay sorry admin script okay so in the same way like we have done for section for updating the status for section we will do in the same way okay just simply uh, we just make the changes like this category okay so
so we will create this route as well update category status and that also in the same way we can create the route so it is now easier for us to work on this one Okay, so now we can create this function there we can simply copy that function from section controller and just copy paste this one to category controller okay and here once again we will make changes status category id okay now we can check here whether we able to update the status for the category or not okay so see now i'm going to check here see some error has come up we are going to check okay so we know that what error is coming uh, we need to add the route in we uh, that uh, verify serif token file okay even then we can check by opening the console we can check it okay so now we are going to check the issue active okay here see 419 error is coming here okay csrf token error so we will just add the route there verify verify csrf token and in the same way we will add for this one for uh, update category status okay now we will try once again edit must work fine okay now i'm going to check here oh still error has come up again i'm going to check that what error has come up now no need to close this one i have closed see uh, again we are going to check okay class section not found so uh, see here uh, class section not found in category controller uh, but why this section is required here because see here we need to mention category instead of section okay so that is this mistake silly mistake see we copy paste but copy paste very carefully okay so category so now we are updating the status and now i'm going to check once again we'll refresh this one okay see now now it is coming fine see we able to uh, make the status active inactive for categories see both the status i have made inactive so both the status must be zero for categories i am going to check see the status is zero for both the categories so one status i will make active i will check now here status must be active so you can see status is active if i will make the status for another one also active okay see we can change it instantly and here i'm going to check see the status is fine now okay so we can able to update active inactive status for our categories as well okay and we able to display our categories in admin panel as well okay so now you can go to categories uh, from here but just one thing you need to give here uh, like in section controller we have given here uh, uh, the session paid section here in category controller we need to give in the similar way uh, before this one we will give here page categories okay like this 
so that uh, if we will refresh it will display here categories okay so we are going to check here or refresh see session we need to add session here use session okay now we are going to check here see here now categories is selecting here categories is coming fine okay categories module and here we will select section then section module is coming fine okay see here categories module is coming fine so these categories belongs to this section we will also display the section in next video along with this category we will also display section that uh, these categories uh, come under this section and we will also display the parent category okay along with this one we will also display the parent category if the parent category is zero then uh, we will display it, uh, it as root okay uh, otherwise uh, we can display the category name like casual t-shirt comes under t-shirt okay then um, we will display the parent category under parent category we are going to sh show t-shirt okay that thing we are going to do in next video okay uh, and also along with that we will start working on the add edit category functionality okay and that also we will start from the next video okay so stay tuned for that have a nice time goodbye